today we are going to make a very very simple timer circuit the timer circuit means when we are giving a trigger the output output will become on for some time and again it will go back to the off off condition we can adjust the switch on time period using a preset also using a triple five timer ic we can make the same functionality here we are making the circuit using a transistor the transistor we are using is tip 122 which is a darlington pair transistor When we are designing a circuit using triple five uh, as a timer, then that type of circuit is what we call as monostable multivibrator. Here also we are making the same functionality using this transistor. It is also called a multi monostable multivibrator. Monostable multivibrator means one state is stable for all the time. Here off off condition is stable for all the time. When we are giving a trigger, then it will go to the uh, on state which is not stable. After a predefined the time it will come back to the stable state that is off condition the circuit diagram is given at the end of this video i have given two circuit for this uh, same function in one circuit i am using a 12 volt led bulb as a load uh, that load i am di directly giving to the uh, collector of this transistor in the second circuit i have replaced the 12 volt led bulb with a relay so that you can switch on and off 230 volt load uh, through the relay contacts i am also explaining the working principle of this circuit while i am uh, showing you the circuit diagram this tip 122 is a darlington pair transistor which is mostly used for switching purpose giving a 12 volt led bulb as a load since i am using an led bulb as the load there will be popularity in the connection terminals you can even replace the 12 volt led bulb with a 12 volt incandescent lamp or a 12 volt motor or in short you can replace the load with any 12 volt one the only thing you have to make sure is give proper heat sink to the transistor I have given a small heat sink to this uh, uh, TIP122 since I am using a 12 volt LED bulb as the load. This will draw at the most 2 ampere. This is the complete schematic of this timer circuit. Please watch the micro switch. Thus in series with the micro switch we have connected a 220 microfarad capacitor and uh, from that micro switch there will be a 20k preset and in series with a 1k resistor and we are connecting it, it to the base of the transistor. This transistor is an NPN transistor. For switching on an NPN transistor we need a positive supply to the base of the transistor. The micro switch is connected to the positive supply but the micro switch is in the off position. So the base of the transistor will not get the positive sub supply that is why the transistor will always be in the off position one end of the micro switch is connected to the plus 12 volt power supply when we press the micro switch the capacitor will start charging once the charge the capacitor charge becomes full it will go flow through the 20k preset and 1k and will reach the base now the base to emitter junction uh, becomes forward biased and the transistor will become switch on we are momentarily pressing the micro switch and is releasing. Now the positive supply will not reach the base of the transistor through micro switch. But our capacitor is in the charger position. So it will slowly discharge the positive supply through the 20k preset and then to 1k and will go through the base emitter junction. Even though we release the micro switch but, but the charge in the 220 microfarad capacitor will help the transistor to continue in the on, on condition. After some time the capacitor charge will end and the transistor will become off, put, off position. If the capacitor stores more charge then the output will stay on for long time. So for storing more charge in the capacitor we need high value capacitor. Another way is to increase the value of 20k preset so that the current flow from the capacitor will be slow. In this circuit I have replaced the LED bulb with a relay so that you can switch on and off a 230 volt load using this same circuit. 
now it is testing time i am giving a 12 volt power supply from my bench power supply the positive supply is given to here and the negative supply is given to the emitter of the transistor now the you can see the led is in the off position because uh, my, there is no positive supply in the base the moment i press the micro switch it has switched on for some time one or two seconds and then go back to the off condition again i am pressing or no after one or two seconds it uh, it it is going back to the off position that is that is because the capacitor has discharged uh, completely the preset value was in the low position now uh, the 20k preset i am moving to sender position that means the value becomes 10k then we will try to switch on how long it will be switched on you can see it has switched on for more than two seconds earlier two seconds within two seconds it has become uh, switched off now around five six seconds it was switched on now i will again increase the value of the preset to full value that is 20k then we will try how long the led will be switched on or that how long the timer will be on it will switch on for more than double the time of the early condition now it has become dim and switched off if you believe this video was very much helpful to you then please click like button and also share this to your friends if you have any doubt or suggestions related to this video then please comment on this video if you are replacing this 220 microfarad capacitor with this 2200 microfarad capacitor the output time period that is switch on time period will be even high it will be in hours the another way is to replace this 20k preset with 500k or uh, 1 mega ohm preset then the output time period will be in days now you know how to increase the output switch on time period of the on, of this timer circuit Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.